Hey, it's Katie again. Well, here we are in the midst of the holidays, and it is crazy. Everybody's freaking out. People are freaking out that have, don't even have eating disorders to deal with. So I understand you're really stressed out, and that's okay. I know that a lot of times we have a lot of trouble around the holidays because everything seems to revolve around food. Meeting with friends to give gifts or for food. Thanksgiving is a meal. Christmas is a meal. A lot of times followed by another meal. And then we have New Year's, which can be about food and drink and from midday all the way through midnight. So I know you're freaking out. It's okay. I'm gonna give you three tips and coping skills to get you through it. And I know this will help. Trust me, I've had it worked with hundreds of patients and this is definitely really helpful tips. The first one being journal. Like I said before, in my older videos, you can look them up. Always have a journal. Purchase a journal if you don't have one and make sure it's small enough if you're traveling that you can take it with you all the time. Maybe fit it in your purse or you know, a back pocket or a side pocket, whatever you're traveling with. I want you to have it with you all the time. And the, the reason being is that when you're feeling really anxious and stressed out and you maybe can't reach somebody because it's Christmas Eve at eight o'clock and you know everybody's with their families, journal. Tell, tell your journal about it. Pretend you're talking to me. Pretend you're talking to your best friend. You can start out with today I feel or right now I'm freaking out and this is why. You can list. If you don't like to journal, journal. That can kind of help you. And like I said before, there's that journal, the All About Me book, that begins little sentences for you, like I feel anxious when, and you can go with that as long as you need to until you feel your level of anxiety to kind of be brought down. Also, the other tip that I gave you before, music. Music can be so influential. You know, when you're in the car and you're just really jamming, you're feeling so relaxed. Those are the songs that you should have at this time relaxing songs. I don't want anything with a really fast beat. That can get the anxiety pumping a little bit more than we need. We want to be relaxed. So make sure that's available to you. If you're traveling, put it on your iPod or your iPhone or whatever you're bringing with you. If you're driving somewhere, maybe make sure it's in a CD and you can throw it in your car and you can listen to it as many times as you need. Just make sure you have it with you. And lastly, I know when you're with your family or your friends for the holidays, sometimes it's just overwhelming and we've tried the music, we, we can't really journal, we're, we're, just, we're in the middle of a freak out, step away. You can go somewhere for just a minute. If it's in the room, like, hey, let me take your jacket for you, I'll put it in with the coats. Walk in the room, shut the door for a minute, just have a breather, it's okay. Take a little time for yourself and then we go back, right? Because the most important thing about the holidays, the people. It's not about the food, it's about the people. A lot of times, those friends and family members, we don't get to see them all year until this holiday. And they want to know what's going on with you. They love you. They want to hear about what's, what's happening in your life, and they want to tell you. So I want you to be able to be present. And we're going to get through this together. And I would also encourage you to comment below to leave questions or comments. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter. We can be talking and commenting and everybody giving advice to each other through this. Wouldn't that be great? You shoot out a Twitter, I'm, I'm really freaking out, my grandma made this, I, I used to binge on it, and somebody can respond really quickly, hey, I used to do that too, you know what I do to help myself out? Share that advice, this is a great place to do that. And don't forget to subscribe, because next time I post a video, you'll get notified. And we can keep supporting each other and growing to a healthy mind and a healthy body.